What we're talking about today is a fairly simple program to uh, count the number of lines in a file. And it basically just consists of two read-only text boxes and a button. And the first read-only text box is txt file name. The second read-only text box is line count. And you can tell it's read-only because the read-only property is set to true. And it's also got sort of a grayed out color. And then all the code really is behind the button, which is uh, called uh, BNT count lines in file. So if we double click this and look at the code behind, we essentially have an open file dialog that gets instantiated via the new operator. And then we clear both the text boxes, largely so we don't leave data in it if we press cancel on the open file dialog because we, if we press console and we didn't do this we'd see the old data and then I, I pop up the open file dialog via the show dialog method and check the return value and if the return value was dialog result dot ok that means that uh, the user did select a file and press the ok button so we take the uh, file name property from the open file dialog and put it in a local variable called str file name and then set str file name into the text property of the uh, file name text box and then we do a file dot open text on this locally defined file name which is why we use the file name property which returns the full path uh, there's a, another uh, type of file name, I think called safe file name, which just returns only the file and the extension. But this returns the full path, so when we do a file.open text, we actually get the physical location of the file. And then we set a local integer variable to zero in line count, and then enter a while loop where we have a stream reader dot read line and we actually don't care about the line. We could have an equal sign and put that in a string variable. But we want to just read the line and check if the read is null. If the read's null, it means we've run out of lines. But while we haven't run out of lines, we fall into the while loop and we increment the end line count with the plus plus auto increment operator of C sharp. And once we've looped through all the lines and the counts complete, we convert the line count to a string using the uh, zero comma zero pattern which is a very convenient pattern it basically says every three digits put a comma you know it's a standard technique for showing a number so that it's much more readable you know thirty thousand is thirty comma and then the number of hundreds and we put that into the text box of the uh, line count and then we do a close on the stream reader and that's pretty much it that's the whole code so if we uh, compile and run this and select count uh, lines in file and say go to Nadia notes do a open on that we almost immediately get back the number 30,156 and if I do this a second time and press cancel you see our clearing those text fields works out because now we don't see the old data but if I press it a second time and select a file I deliberately created for testing this function which I know ahead of time has 10 lines in it and I do an open on that see the line count does indeed say 10 lines so the code appears to be working correctly well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.